everybody. Hi everybody, it's me. I thought I would show you guys how to make some Buckeyes. Okay, now you take a stick of butter, two cups of peanut butter, two cups of powdered sugar, a half a teaspoon, yep, half a teaspoon of vanilla, Ta -da. and then we're going to take a little bit of salt, not a lot. Oops, salt here, not that. We put that in there. And then to mix it, we're going to do it the old fashioned way because you end up using your hands anyhow. We're going to mix it. Just like this yeah you can start out with a spoon but or a fork of me but you're going to end up having to use your hands to mix it and get this all mixed up good don't take long And as you can tell, it comes together pretty good. So, this is what you want it to look like. You want it to form a ball. Like that. And no matter what, you're going to get messy on this one. For some reason, I like making messy things. And then when you get this all mixed together, take it and you put it in your refrigerator or your freezer. You let it get cold for a couple hours. I always let it go overnight. And then you go in to the next phase of it. Okay, now that your stuff is froze, you take and you form it into balls. All right. I know this isn't all. This isn't isn't all of that that I just showed you guys how to make. All right. You got to roll it in your hand to make the balls. And you can make them big, you can make them small. Don't matter. Whatever size hand you've got, that's the size you make them. All right. And then you take this and you put it in the freezer and let it sit and get hardened up 
for a couple hours or overnight, whichever you prefer to do. Okay, this is how you do it. You put your shish kebab, and yeah, I use the shish kebab because it's long and long, um, long and skinny. You dunk it in the chocolate halfway. You put it on your sheet, and then fill in the hole, and it will look like a, a buckeye. Now, years ago, my husband and I would go and find these things. And we usually did it after some kids had went and got the ones off the ground. And they thought they had gotten them all. And we kind of looked at each other and laughed. Because we would go over, we would walk around, put their shoes on. And we could still fill them underneath the grass. And we would get a bunch of them. And we'd go back and they were like, where did you guys find those? Over where you guys found them on top of the ground. Anyhow, then you take this, and you put it in your freezer for a couple minutes. The chocolate will harden. And, uh, then you can eat. So, I hope you have a good day. Talk with you soon. Hi, everybody. This is what how much it's going to make. One of those batches of Buckeyes. Now, if you want peanut butter balls, you just cover the whole thing in chocolate. And you'll have your peanut butter balls. Now, we're going to show you what they're like. They look just like a Buckeye except for the extra chocolate and they're really good and peanutty flavored with chocolate. That's what they look like. So I hope you have a good day. I'll talk with you soon.